Hello, welcome, welcome to, to the graduated, graduated voice updates. updates. Be ready for the real tea. Details to tell. Well, the question is, is the government trying to steal money from its citizens? Is Ruto trying to do the unthinkable to the Kenyans? The Law Society of Kenya has gone to court to challenge the Finance Act 2023, arguing that it violates sections of the Constitution and should be declared illegal and null. Yes, illegal and null. Now we have people all over stating that actually that Finance Act is illegal. The housing levy, the housing levy, all the taxations increment here and there. It is illegal in the country. Well, will the court listen to the Law Society of Kenya? We'll be right here to inform you on that. So make sure that you subscribe to this channel so that you do not miss out on it and also i would really appreciate it if you like the video or commented down below and share us out under a certificate of urgency the law society of kenya at the constitutional and human rights courts to stop the government agencies and representatives including the kenya revenue authority from collecting new taxes in naomizawa kenya we can all agree that the higher the taxes the more okay the goal for the government is the more the taxes the economy will get better but in the kenyans eyes the people are feeling that the more the taxes we can all agree that if you feel the more the taxes the higher you are the higher your life becomes harder. the more your life becomes hard rather okay i don't know what to take on that do you feel like the the increment in taxes is going to help kenyans to improve their livelihood or what's your take on that The Law Society of Kenya also argues that the Finance Act 2023 will overburden any itakwa mzigo kwa Kenyans in these harsh economic times. At the same time, employers and employees will bear a heavy burden due to the law and this could lead to lower the rate of employment in a country which is already grappling with low rates of employment. Actually, when the... If the employer feels like Anna Finilua, like it is too much to handle, if they feel like it is too much to handle, do you know who is going to suffer? You. All the other person, the person who doesn't have a job right now, doesn't have employment, or maybe the person who is already employed, they'll be told like, now enough is enough, I cannot deal with this, you know what you should do, just rest, go at home, yeah, I can just not deal with all of these. Well, in a certificate uh, filed under the urgency, uh, society through the lawyer Noel Golomo Okwach claims that the mandatory affordable housing levy threatens the socio-economic interests of all Kenyans. Right now, it's all a matter of the economy. How things are going, how you buy this, how you'll get your next meal, how you'll survive today. Let me just quote part of what it read. We are seeking the court to issue orders prohibiting the government from implementation further and forcing Section 1023 of the Income Tax Act as amended by Section 7 of the Finance Act. That is just part of the documents whereby the LSK argues that the decision of the respondents to gazette and enforce this Finance Act 2023, which introduces the mandatory affordable housing levy and implementation, threatens a lot the social lives, the social economic, the money times, interests of all Kenyans against the principle of social justice. Okay? The implementation of this Finance Act. Do you know the Finance Act has been talked about for the longest time now? But now at least uh, we have people agreeing that, well, it's a good take for the LSK to finally stand up and try to fight Kenyans because no one else will do that for them. If it's implemented, the housing levy, eh? the more taxes, then it means everyone is going to strain. And the more they strain, the harder lives become.
When it comes to matters of the Finance Act, we have whereby we have the payslip, the housing levy, payslip deductions. Let me just uh, give you some points as stated by Nation here on how this is going to take place, how it's actually affecting the people because you can be hearing everyone being like uh, stating that housing levy here housing levy there will be built for houses here built for i'll be a house owner but how will that actually happen who is going to be affected whose money is going to be taken who is going to collect this amount all these questions are right here and should be answered let me just state with the first point uh -huh. the housing levy that is the like the tax or for houses is to be backdated to July the 1st 2023 deductions to include the period when the new law was suspended you remember for some time now it uh, the finance act stories had been kept on hold until the court of appeal said they said that actually now let it let it be so according to the government one one month okay one month salary that is we are in august then it will be effective from july's what july's salaries the deductions secondly the salaried kenyans within kra's radar uh, to contribute are supposed to contribute 1.5 percent to the housing development fund another 1.5 percent will be contributed by their employer and that's why we're talking about if the employer feels like i am i am giving out 1.5 percent for employee number one employee two and employee three why don't i reduce my employees and just have two meaning that as much as we want to create employment in the country then less employment will also some people will lose their jobs and others will not even get these particular jobs the other statement okay a failure to contribute will attract a penalty of two percent of the unpaid funds for every month of non-compliance well some people are like yeah what if yeah i am getting my salaries and then i decide like i will not pay i will not pay what will happen to me there will be a two percent penalty on that amount that you did not pay for each month that you did not comply only kenyans with monthly incomes of 150,000 Kenya shillings and below are eligible for affordable housing. And with that statement, that's why we have people asking. Yes, only a person whose income is below 150,000 uh, from 150,000 and below Kenya shillings is eligible to mean that that person is the one who can get this housing, the affordable housing. Then, why are you taxing the people with a more salaries the person who is not even eligible hmm? if i am earning two thousand kenya shillings why are you taxing me for a house levy and i am not eligible that is i do not qualify to get that house where is that money going to how will i get my money back why am i paying for someone else's house well even if it's the balance between the bottom up those who are down and up why am i being made to work for someone else Well, this affordable housing is designed in three categories. The first category is whereby you earn if you're earning 19,999 Kenya shillings. The second category is whereby you're earning 20,000 20, Kenya shillings to 49,999 Kenya shillings. And the other category belongs to those who are earning from 50,000 to 149 and 999 Kenya shillings. I hope I said that right. The first category whereby you're having 19,999 Kenya shillings. The second category is for people between 20,000 Kenya shillings to 49 thousand nine hundred and ninety nine while the other ones lie for those who are up to there 1,149,999 Kenya shillings. Actually, so it's like 19,000, 20,000, 49,000, 50,000, 149,000. You don't want to get to 150,000 because I told you, um, in this case, it is a matter of 150,000 and below. 
The social housing plan offers one bedroom units priced at 600,000 Kenya shillings, two bedroom units fetching 1 million Kenya shillings, and three bedroom units going for 1.4 million apiece. The owner is not allowed to sell the affordable housing unit in the open market before seven years of owning the unit lapses. So the moment you get this particular house, you're not supposed to sell it. You do not sell it. You'll have to wait for like 7,000 uh, 7, years. Okay, I've said so many thousands. That's what is stuck in my mind. Anyways, you'll have to wait for like approximately the seven years. And then after that, you can actually now decide, let me sell the house. Well, there you have it. Are the law society of Kenya is trying to stand against all these? Do you feel like they are doing the right thing? Yes, all should just should the government just implement this is the government trying to take money from kenyans what is your take nani anomia zaidi who is suffering the most in this particular case talk to me in the comment section and remember if it's happening and all about it and if i know all about it i will tell you all about it and i'll really appreciate it if you subscribe turn on the notification bell to get the royalty the tells to tell